Good morning, good night, and welcome to the Jamie Gray's podcast. I'm, I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. Okay, whatever. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Eric Collins. That was terrible. Whoa. I'm sorry. Okay. It's the worst comeback ever. Like, Anyways. You know what I'm saying? I'm from St. Louis. We're a little loopy because oh. we just got back from San Diego. But my name is Aaron Collins. This is my lovely wife, Jamie I'm Grace. Like and this, this is, is Isabella. Isabella. Isabella, say hi. Our for a month old. Say hi. Don't reach for mommy, reach for me. You want to sit with mommy? Oh, oh you miss mommy. Anyways, mm. folks, we just came back from a show in San Diego. Shout out to the Rock Church in San Diego. Yes, it, it was, was an awesome, awesome show. It was anchored in love. Yeah. Event. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. Yeah. And we're driving back home and we were like, oh, we just went on YouTube last week and we're like, we're back, y'all. And then we didn't make a video for this week. Yep. And Aaron was like, we're going to get home early enough. We can yeah. do it. Yeah. And we're half asleep right now. But we're going to make this happen. Hey. We're going to talk about exciting things, people. Mm -hmm. Even though my face says I'm talking about serious things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're, we're going to tell you guys the story of how we met. Yeah. We've told you guys a few times before. Yeah. Like, but, back. Yeah. we'll go, sorry. Well, my, my bad, sorry. But yeah, okay. we, we, you know, we talked about it before yeah. separately on each of channels. Had you guys jumping back and forth because yeah. we like it and it's fun. Yeah. But, you know, like, we found out a lot of people still don't know how we met. Right. You know, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm not expecting the whole world to know, but you know, like. But we're we like, we should tell you guys. Yeah, we should tell you guys, you know what I'm saying? And, you know. Yeah, we're both right here. <laughs> right, we'll just we'll, tell this we'll, the first time yeah. we like, told it together. Because the first time we told it on my channel, too, we also did a separate thing called How I Met My Fiance. And it was, oh, like, yeah. it was like 10, maybe 20, 15 minute video of how we met. But that was like when we were already engaged. And that was trying to recap everybody on everything within that short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So we don't know how many parts this video is going to have. It might be like a 30 part series. But we're just going to tell you <laughs> 28 nope, parts. It's not going to be. be a 28 part series of our story and how we met. Look, and we're professionals yeah. at giving you the short story, but we look. We want to give you the I full wanna, story. I just want to give you the full story. Yeah. It's the last time we're doing this, by the way. <laughs> right. So also, as we get start, oh, go, yeah, you said. I, no, I was going to say, like, yep. both of us have already done the thing where we're like, oh, wait, sorry, I wanted to add this. But this is so random. In our normal life, we don't really say sorry when we're telling stories to people because we just cut each other off in a good way like we yeah. just we add on to each other but we kind of say sorry for youtube because we feel like y'all think that we're like disagreeing with each other for like wait yeah. sorry oh, we're wait. Okay. Oh, oh, just, no, you like, like, guys like you're like oh my gosh like why is he talking over went. him like he's that's trying to talk like, he's talking that's too much that, oh, like she's no, oh, wow 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 but like that's just how we talk. Anyways, like, we're just weird in person, so we are gonna both tell the story at the same time, so, essentially. So, and that's just how we talk in real life. Okay, so to jump <laughs> right into I don't into, edit this video. So <laughs> jumping into it, um, uh, yeah, it was in. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, so the yes. show was in St. Peter's, Missouri, at this church, awesome church. Shout out to Church on the Rock, mm -hmm. you know. And so the show was there. It was like every month there's this young adult gathering event. Uh, uh yeah uh that they do yeah. and uh every so often they have artists come and you know they have like a little concert and whatnot and so <laughs> Hi, baby. it was like yeah. november 2016 Ooh, and it's remember that hosted, date yeah and it's hosted by their young adult pastor who is shout out to neil, neil Hopson. he has a wonderful Mid wife time. named kim we love them both and their it baby it so it much it yeah. So he's a DJ over at Boost, but he's also yeah. a young adult pastor, and, and and so he is the host of it. And he knew someone that knew my manager, mm -hmm. uh, Morgan and I, and my sister. We have the same right. manager, and our manager reached manager. out and was like, "Hey, we're looking for like St. Louis area place to do a pop up show, which we do those often." And Neil was the person that you know it just happened that way. So we ended up connecting with Neil. And when I first got to the show, I'm in the green room getting ready. This is important. Obviously, it's important. You'll see why. But I was putting on eyeshadow, and I remember saying, like, oh, I got to put on eyeshadow because there's a lot of Christian single men here, and you just you never know. It's a special occasion. I need to put on eyeshadow. So that's what that's why I wore eyeshadow. And I mean, I guess it worked, but... <laughs> anyway, so yeah. I went with some, some friends from church, and, you know, we were very familiar with Jamie and Morgan's song, so we were in the front. Like we always are for concerts, it's the thing we did. And you know, we're jamming out in the front, you know what I'm saying? And you know, me and the guys, the guys of the group, we're all like dancing and singing and all that. Like, that's just what we do and we're crazy, we're silly. And you know, 
I noticed Jamie was kind of like looking at me, but I wasn't sure if she was looking at me or just looking at a move. So I wasn't like flattered. I was like, oh, she's looking at me. Yeah, he wasn't, wasn't like that at all. Mm -hmm. I w and I wasn't even so much looking like at him like, oh, I like look, he's so cute. That was later. <laughs> um, I was more so just like, oh, he's tall and like he just seems cool and like he's really into my stuff because mm -hmm. guys listen to my music, but a lot of guys don't like a lot of guys are like embarrassed to say they listen to a girl singer which is weird because women listen to dude singers all the time but i could talk about that all day that's another <laughs> conversation but a lot of guys are like they're like episode. yeah a lot of guys get embarrassed to say they listen to female singers so i just thought it was really cool that a bunch of guys were like really dancing and getting into it and they weren't yeah. ashamed of that um but i also like i you know now i don't have to worry about it because i'm happily married but when i was single and touring full time it was like i had to be really guarded especially at my shows and stuff because it's like you don't want to like be flirting with a guy in Missouri and then flirting with a guy in Texas and then flirting with a guy in Georgia at all these different shows and then people are like oh you just flirt with a bunch of dudes at your shows all the time um you don't want to be that girl regardless um but yeah so I like I saw him but I just I had to shut it down in my brain because I was just like no he's on the front row of your show like you you like cool down Jamie and you don't even know if he's married like calm down anyway so that's that's in the concert and then yeah, after, after the, concert. the concert, so we do this. So like I said, you know, uh, you know, my friends back then, they uh, what we did was we used to we had this thing where we stayed to the back of the line, so we get the last bit of time with the artist, and we get mostly the mostly the longest amount of time with the artist. So that's just what we did, you know what I'm saying? And so we get that, and uh, you know, so her and Morgan came from behind the table, and you know, we're jokesters yeah. and all that, and you know. She started cracking some jokes, well, so, and I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, wait, just jump in. So before that, jump before, in and so try to defend your. Well, no, no, no! Work. I'm going before that. Okay, before they when they were walking up to the table. You no, know, Bill. No, I cuddle her. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry, <laughs> you can hold it. <laughs> we fight over who gets to hold her all the time. So before mm -hmm. when they were walking up to the table, I said to my sister, I was like, I love him. I'm gonna marry him. I looked at him, and like, yes, I thought his face was attractive, oh. but honestly, the the main thing that I thought was attractive was just his physical stature <laughs> and the way that he carried himself. There was just something about him that I was real that I was really attracted to. And now, obviously, knowing him very well, and I I, I picked up on this like a few months into dating. Well, by the time we were a few months in dating, we were married. But I picked Hello. up on this a few months in dating. But I was like, man, it's it's the fact that he knows who he is. Like he is so confident in who he is that he carries himself with so much confidence. Um, but he's not proud. He's just confident. And so that's what I was attracted to right away because I, I appreciate it. Well, yeah, but I mean, it just it's annoying. Yeah. It's hard being a public figure, and especially being a woman that's a public figure, and being a single woman that's a public figure, because people always tell you, oh, you're so intimidating. Like you know, no men are ever gonna want to talk to you because you're so intimidating, all that kind of stuff. And so, but for you, you were so confident. It was like I didn't. I didn't pose a threat to you. Like, you weren't afraid to talk to me or whatever. And so I was like, you scared oh. her. I was but like, I was good. mad at her because <laughs> she said, I look no, like I'll be the first black man to bow. No, she said, I look like I'll be the first black man to bow, the first black man to open up a Chick fil A. Okay. Everybody rolled like, ah, cuz he said it. Was funny. Good. No, I'm like, nah, that's for the birds. Nah, man. Okay, so, I'm, so the thing anyways, is, I thought he was attractive, and honestly, I didn't think he would ever be interested in someone like me. I didn't think I was attractive enough for him. Women, don't do that. Don't be that girl that beats yourself up like that. Don't be that girl. Um, but How'd you I get her back from me? <laughs> she reached for me, bro. But I thought he was too attractive for me. I thought he would never be interested in me. And she said, why? Um, Because your daddy's handsome. And you want to go with the daddy? Oh, he's sleepy. He's sleepy. sleepy. He's going to go night-night. <laughs> he's sleepy. Anyways, so I was like, well, he's never going to date me because he's too attractive for me. So, I'm going to just be a butt. <laughs> I was just like, I'm going to just crack some jokes. And I didn't just come out right and say ridiculous stuff. I like, no, she, I like, she, she, I read she, the fina room. she finessed herself the in there. And, then and she I, did all I that got joking. his friends laughing first. Yeah. And then I was like, I was kind of like picking on, I think I was picking on all of them. I just don't remember what I was saying. No, I was, she No, I was just kind of like. She ain't throw no joke okay, at nobody I was, else. I don't remember exactly me. how. 
Anyways. I don't, bruh. I don't remember, ex I don't remember elbow, exactly how I got there. I just remember that I got there some kind of way. I was just like, yeah. I, get, I gotta talk with my hands. I'm gonna freak out. I feel so claustrophobic. I was just like, yeah, I mean, like, you probably think you're so attractive. Bro, you probably think you were like an actor or a model. He wasn't an actor or a model. I felt bad about that. It's like, you probably think you like an actor or a model. You look like you're one of those black dudes on the front of one of those, like, Black History Month movies. Like, look at you, the first black man to bowl, first black man to open up a Chick fil A. And, like, his friends were laughing really hard, which. I mean, the worst thing that you can do for someone that's an Enneagram 7, that's much of an extrovert as I am, is laugh at me, because, like, I'ma just keep going. Anyway, uh, anyways, <laughs> anyways, so after all that, she threw the jokes at me, so I didn't think it was funny, but one of my friends was like, I think Jamie and Grace like you, cuz. <laughs> I'm like, what? Nah, bro, no, she don't, whatever. So anyways, we left that day. I ain't know her name. Well, she didn't know my name. And, <laughs> yeah, I ain't know her name. Song. Yeah, so we ended up leaving that day. It's whatever. But then, so, remember I told you, remember that, to mark that date, November? Wait, wait, I feel what? like we should tell them how it ended. Because I feel like it seems weird that I didn't know your name. We're just standing there and I'm cracking these jokes. And he's making this like quintessential Aaron face where he's trying to be nice, but he's really confused. I wish I knew how to make this. Whoa. Things. Yeah, it's like, it's your face you make and you're like, can you make it? <laughs> I have no idea. No, you right. Okay, anyways, it's the face. Okay, he's okay. making the face. Okay, And then. I started getting really insecure. And I remember looking over at my, like, kind of looking around the room, like, while I was cracking my jokes, looking, at, looking around the room. And I saw my sister. And she was kind of looking at me like, I mean, everybody else in the room knew that I was flirting except for him. So my sister was kind of looking at me like, why in the world are you flirting with this guy? Like, you never do this. She wasn't, like, mad about it. She was just, like, kind of bewildered. And, um... And so, yeah, so she kind of made me that face. And then I got really insecure, and I was like, oh, my gosh, people are going to think that I'm being inappropriate. This isn't okay. Like, he's not even really feeling it. I probably offended him. Like, this isn't okay. He's mm -hmm. not going to date me anyway. She thought right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. Clearly, <laughs> I am offended so, by your accusation. Anyway, so I was just like, blah, blah, blah. This is, like, terrible. I'm a terrible person. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it is. Ah. And so I literally, I don't know how it ended, but I literally just remember ending the ending my part of the conversation and walking away and just being like, okay, yeah. he does not like me. Now. I just like, because like the other girls oh. were looking at me too, like, oh, you're, why are you flirting with him? Like he goes to our church, like, blah, blah. and I was just like, okay. To fast forward <laughs> yeah. to November of, because I remember I told you Mark today, November yes. 2016. Now mm -hmm. it's for November 2016. 17. 17. Almost a year to the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She hits me up. No, she doesn't hit me up. She just follows me on Instagram. So I'm like, whoa, 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 pause. I'm gonna tell them how I found you on Instagram, baby. That's very Oh, important. snap. Well, okay, you can tell that part. So you guys, I'll tell it fast because I know you're, you're, I want you to tell because I like how you tell stories. Ow. So. I'm still a little slow, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Where do you swear from? My arm. I had the full body workout yesterday. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I was asleep. You go to the gym. So Okay, so a year later, my friend Kristen's my visiting for uh, Thanksgiving. We get to talking about guys, as Ooh. you often do when you're with girls. And I just remember thinking, I wonder whatever happened to the guy that I was going to marry. And so, and I, you know, well, yeah. So I remember thinking that. And then I was like, let me find him. So Neil, the young adult pastor, he and I kept in touch over the years. And so, over the year rather. So I went to Neil's Instagram, found the church's Instagram, went through everybody that they followed, and just eventually, I think, found a friend of his. I just literally just went through it. People's Don't Instagram. act like y'all ain't never done okay. something yeah. like that. I, mean, I know on. the people mm -hmm. I did it. And I do some that, digging just yeah, to find somebody. I am somebody. that person for all my friends. Okay, like, just want to say, I don't want to think you're the only one. You're oh, no, no, no. About. There's like, no, I mean like, there's like every don't friend Don't do her. Group. Every friend group has that one friend that yeah. can like find it. And but I'm anyways, yeah, my friend didn't cut you off. No, you're fine, baby. But yeah, so I found him on the gram and I followed him because I was like, let me not say anything to him. I just followed him. Like, I, I kind of like stalked him and I found out that that night that we met that he was single then. So I was like, okay, that's great. He was single then. And then I also found out that he was single at that time. So I was like, okay, he was single then. He's single now. This is great. I'm going to follow him. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah. So oh, yeah. she followed me. And then after that, um, I was like uncertain. So I like gave it a day and I was like, yo, did Jamie Grace follow any of y'all? Like, cause she followed me. I was like, no, nah, she followed me. She followed. Me. Okay, I'm like, whatever. And then so I think later on, I don't know. I was like, hey, Jamie, thanks for the follow. I don't think you remember me. It was nothing flirtatious. I was just saying thanks for following me. Yeah, you know it was what I'm really saying? Simple. Yeah, I didn't think she remembered me, but then she, I guess she did. 
And just while we're sticking to details, we did tell you guys that we're going to tell you the full story. He sent me a message. Hi, Jamie. Thanks for following. Uh, hi, J A I M E. Oh, yeah. So I spelled, her, I spelled her name wrong. Then she thought it was funny and she sp did. I said, hi, Aaron. E R I N. Yeah, she did that. <laughs> and yeah, and that pretty much from there, we kind of like just talked a little bit. It was nothing flirtation, just talking, friendly talk, you know. Now, I'd like to say to all the young women out there, you know, sometimes our brains work differently than men, and that's okay. This is a My fact. husband will very often, very you casually, and very truthfully say on Thank his you. end, it was nothing flirtatious. <laughs> on my end, the second he messaged me and said, hi, Jamie, even though my name was spelled wrong, I started, like, naming our children in my head. So, you know, I just want to say that as an encouragement to women, like, it goes both ways, you know. Don't stress out, don't freak out because he oh, might not be thinking anything romantic at all. But also, don't, you know, just ask questions. Ask what he's thinking, share what you're thinking. Be w willing to have conversation because you will not know what the other person is thinking unless you ask and unless they're honest. So, all right now. So, yeah, sorry. Okay, so, but that's what we, I mean, that's kind of ended up what, ha ended up what okay. happened is that you were really honest with me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, it, that ended up, and then uh, just honestly, I was like, man, she kind of cool. She not mean that mean girl that oh was Oh my crack, god. All them jokes. You no, were not were I'm you still thinking about that? No, I wasn't thinking oh. about that. I'm <laughs> that's something I was about to say I'm joking. So, oh yeah, but god. like low key like she's actually pretty cool. So, you know, it was getting like it was like around thanks it was getting close to like Thanksgiving and all that. And so I started asking mm, yeah, mm, Thanksgiving girl. Yeah. <laughs> I started thinking about, you know, you know, I, no. What did I say? It was around Thanksgiving, and yeah. we were exchanging Instagram DMs for like yeah. two to three days. Oh, no fussy. No fussy. Yeah, so with that, I was like, man, you know, let me take this a little step further, because she, she, she seemed all right. And then so I started asking like other questions, because I'm like... This could be. This could turn into something. Yeah. And I noticed, you know. Whoa, she, right, no, like well, yeah, I know she. Minutes. I kept keeping it short. I kept keeping my messages short, but she kept making them a little bit longer. It's like she's trying to have a conversation. Okay, great, yeah. cool. I, but I, I peeked that, you, so sir. now I'm starting to catch on. Like, oh, she might. Oh snap, she like that. But anyway, so <laughs> I started asking all these questions and all this stuff about Thanksgiving, her family, and all this other stuff. But then, like honestly, she just kind of low. That's when she started to like. Really steal my heart, you know. She just started, you know, saying stuff that, you know, just like she just checking off all the boxes, fellas. I'm just being real. That's, I, you know, she started checking off all the boxes, low key, and um, you know, from there I was like, okay, I th I know for a fact I'm interested. You know, let me see if she's interested. So it just so happened to me. I was in Chicago. It was like after things. It was around Thanksgiving, and uh, I asked her, uh, "What did I do?" I uh, I was planning on sending her a text like, "Hey, Jamie, it's been really great getting to know you. If it's okay, I like to, uh, what was I like to get get to know. Yeah, hey, it's been great getting to know you. It's okay. I like to get to know you better. Yeah. So I would send that. I was gonna send that in a video. Yeah, I said I made it in a video. Sorry, guys, I'm okay. terrible. So, quick question: We're at about 18 minutes. Dang. Do you, where do you want to leave the cliffhanger? At, yeah. Because I feel like we're at a, we're getting close to it. It could be a really good cliffhanger. Okay. Yeah. yeah uh, we when um, well, probably when. Yeah. I'm, just keep telling it, and then you can just leave off when you're ready for a cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I was I was supposed to I was supposed to send a video. And then after the, making that video saying how much, you know, I appreciate everything, you know, wanted to get to know you better, I was going to send my number after that I made that video. Because he was trying to get him a girl. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it it was like, it took a minute for her to respond. She wasn't responding. And then, you know, it was through Instagram. My data wasn't great. I didn't have the best phone back then. You know, so I'm like, okay, what, what's going on? She ain't hit me back yet. That was great. She don't like, let me just check my DMs. I ain't checked it in a while. And I was like, I didn't see the video pop up on the DMs, and all I saw was my number. I'm like, I'm like then I texted her, hey, I texted, her, well, I hit her up on the DMs, and I was like, hey, did you get my video? And then uh, she was like, there was a video? I'm like, oh, no. Oh, uh, no. no. Yeah, there was no video. And I think that is a great place to leave off with what happens next. I will say on my end of that, I woke up on my birthday 
to only his phone number and no video. I now know that there was a video, but at the time I didn't know there was a video. Yeah. yeah. So I woke up on my birthday with only his phone number. And some people might be like, oh, you got the digits. I thought that was the most unattractive thing that a man could do. He didn't do it. He meant to send a video. No, I promise. It didn't you. happen. No, just, just, but to just send your phone number is so like, it's so like, call me. And I was just like, my sister told so me to text arrogant. him back. It's so arrogant. And, but you didn't do that. It was a mistake. It was oh. Instagram's fault. Oh, my sister so said, crazy to this my day. sister told me to God. send him a text and said, who's this? God. Sorry. And so, so yeah. So that was kind of what, that's kind of what happened there. That's kind of the... The big it's reveal just so that cringy. was like we're a year and that's still cringy. I know. Yeah. That was Anyways, not yeah. a year ago. That was two years ago. We're going on. That was a year. Was no, that it's a year al ago? No, it's almost two years ago. That was two ago. almost two no, years ago. I was like, years. when did I meet you? I don't even know you. Yeah. Are you fussy, baby? Are you fussy? You wanna cuddle with mommy? Yeah. You wanna cuddle? But yeah, guys, so that is the that's the general part of how we met. Mm -hmm. And that is right before stuff got romantic and flirty. That's like right in the, I mean, for me, it was love at first sight, but Aaron, you know, was, you know, not, it's okay. We weren't ready then. Like we look back, we talk about that a lot. We're like, if things had worked out, would we have wanted to have gotten married right when we met? And I'm like, I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> and you aren't ready. Like neither one of us were ready yet. And so it worked out the way that it should have. So make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're going to have another video um, post soon about uh, the rest of the story and everything right. and also if you saw in our last video we talked can you take your baby we talked in our last video yeah. about our new lifestyle brand <laughs> 91 um and so we're really excited about that and both of us are right now we're wearing 91 um 91 items so except Isabella. this one yeah except Isabella but the both of the, the both of us are so sorry uh so this one here is it's like a floral pullover this isn't a hood, but it's like a ding, slouch ding, neck. Ding, 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 and the top half is floral, and then the bottom half is like this mustard color. This is so comfortable. I wear it multiple times a week. Um, and this is a women's pullover, and it's for it's sold out within three days. But we just posted some new ones. We just mm -hmm. got some new ones in stock. And so if you want one, you got to hurry up and get it. Link in the yeah. description because we don't have them for long. Yeah, let me show them this one. I don't, if yeah. you haven't seen it, this one says... Somebody give God some praise. So uh, I gotta give all the credit to my wife here because that's something I always say. Like when like I get good news or something like that. So like, when, so like, oh, sorry. Not like that, but like when like say like I get fresh hot food or something like that from uh, Chick Fil A, fresh out the. I'm like, yeah, somebody give God some praise. Hey, yeah. yeah. That's like oh, his you know what I'm saying? Say. Yeah, you know, get like a package in the mail. You know that you've been waiting on for a long time. Hey, somebody give God some praise like that. So you know, I say it a lot. And so, like, she's like, we should make that t-shirt. And we just made, like, a hoodie. And it was just like, and one guy's like, man, that's a pretty cool shirt. Like, me and my whole family, my family and I would uh, buy that. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. And then, we, so, we just tried it out. And, you know, yeah. Yeah. So, now it's a If you like it, go get it. It's all black, white font, and it's yeah. unisex. And it's really comfortable. Do you yeah. mind me telling them what size you're wearing? Is that okay? Yeah. Aaron is wearing, what is, is this an, a large or an XR? Oh, this is a 3X because he wanted the really slouchy vibe. Yeah, I want the really slouchy vibe, So, yeah. if that helps you guys understand the like, oversized you know, look, you know what I'm saying? So, that yeah. one's a And by the way, I'm 6'3". I'm uh, some pretty, my, I think my shoulders are pretty broad, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, so we yeah. have, you know, sizes for everybody, and that's just one of our unisex items. We have quite a bit. Yep. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much, Bella, 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 baby girl, baby. Oh. Um, okay. I'll finish up for it. Before you guys go, follow 91 by Jamie Grace. It's actually XC1 by 90, Jamie Grace because it's Roman numerals XC1 because the X is like the 10 and the C is 100. So, uh, you know, I, you guys, if you know your Roman numerals, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, yeah, go follow the page. You know what I'm saying? You'll get updates on like new merch. We have stuff back in stock and, you know, we got seasonal stuff coming. Hey, it's, it's really exciting. We've been working really hard on this and, yo, we really want y'all to jump in on this because like we love it. We want y'all to... You know, yeah, we're want y'all to enjoy the product too. Yeah, you know man, we're just really excited about it. Yeah. We hope that you guys will check it out before it sells out again. Yeah. Subscribe to our channel. Yeah. You Hit can us follow me socials. on Instagram at the Aaron Collins. You can find the little one at Isabella the Brave. Yep. You can find me at Jamie Grace H. Yes. And like, subscribe, yeah. tell a friend to tell a friend, and, and we out. We out. <laughs>